it is quite hot here. No shit. They had a heat wave here, like literally before I arrived yesterday. And all of the people that live here, which are like totally used to the hot weather and stupid temperatures, they're all like going, this was literally the worst heat wave ever. And like everybody was saying, I literally felt like dying. And I arrived the day after the heat wave ended. And I'm like, wicked, I'm like, whatever. It's like, heat wave, whatever, I don't care, do I? Because it ain't even bothering me, is there? So that was good. Well happy about that. I've got a fan at the end of the bed. Check it out. It's nine, nearly ten o'clock at night in Zimbabwe, and uh, which means it's eight o'clock at night in England, which is quite early to get out of bed. But considering that I believe the flight was so bad, I got no sleep at all. I've been asleep for like not sorry, not asleep. I've been awake for like a thousand and four hours. So I'm mentally knackered. Um, got such a busy, hectic two weeks coming up. I think we're visiting 22 hospitals to sort out their water systems for them and give them fresh, pure water. And that's the whole reason I'm here. Um, yeah, so Africa rocks. Um, I guess that's debatable if you live here, but yeah, I love it here. It's real. It's gives you a taste of um, how lucky we are in England you know the privileges we've all got and we all take for granted it's just like here it's it's just like a bottle of water will make you weak if somebody gave you a little bottle of water like a little 99 pence bottle of water they'd be like honestly this is the best gift I've had in 50 years it's just it's just crazy how much the people here appreciate stuff and they're so friendly and so kind and so welcoming um it, you know it makes it all worthwhile you know people people put themselves out to say hello and you know they don't know who you are where you're from nothing but they will just put themselves out to be to be kind to you and they've got nothing nothing you know they 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 work them got a job, I say they work, but them got a job, they don't work for a company, they like spend 12 hours a day sitting by the side of a road, which might, if they're lucky, might one person might stop and buy the stuff they've carved and they make and they sell, if they're lucky. Uh, and that's their life. They sit by the side of the road with their carvings um, and just, I guess they just pray that somebody stops and buys something. Um, you know, a dollar, one dollar, would that's to them that they're rich for the day. I mean that sounds stupid. They're not they're not rich, that's that's an exaggeration, but to them that's like a day's wage. You know, and uh it really does hit home. Um so I've just I'll just give away everything. I'll give away all the money I've got, clothes, pens, socks, whatever, sandals magazines, whatever's in my suitcase that I don't need, I can give it away and every single person would love it because they'd be so grateful that it's just something. Um, so that's what makes it all worthwhile. Um, you know, we're not just helping the people, the everyday public. I guess we are because we're going to a hospital and we're giving them pure water, pure, clean water, which is a rarity here. So, um, It's just a small drop of water in the ocean, but it helps a bit, and that's all that matters, you know. Alan's, li Alan's sort of this whole charity out himself. He made the charity on his own. He's come out here for 30 years. And the BBC, he's been on the BBC, he's been interviewed, he's been on the BBC loads of times on the radio and TV, and they've estimated that since he started this charity, over three million lives have been saved, and that's just from one man deciding to make a difference because he was a, a water technologist anyway so he knew his, he knew his shit and um, he came here and he saw how bad it was and he thought I'm going to make a difference and uh, and that's what he's done for the last 30 years three million people um, lives have been saved and it just makes me honoured even though I'm on the tail end of 
all the work he's done. It makes me honoured to be a part of it and um, very humble. Very, very humble. So yeah, I'm here safe. Um, yeah, work starts tomorrow big time. So wish me luck. I'll send a couple more videos when I can. I'm, they're probably boring as shit. Especially me laying in bed with my fat gut. It's like, who wants to watch that? But whatever. If you don't want to watch it, fuck off me. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, to my friends who, my close friends who, who know me and support me, that's wicked. I love you all. I love your faces. All right? So I'll check in again. I'll do a, a probably a, a better video that's not involving my fat body on the screen. Um, something to do with Africa would probably be a good idea. So I'll, I'll check that out tomorrow. All right, so mad respect, big love, mad respect to the England massive respect. Peace.